If you're struggling to find child care anywhere in Canada right now, you're not alone. A new report by the Child Care Resource and Research Unit found one spot in a child care setting was available for only 29% of children who need it. So what's behind the worsening child care crisis in this country and how can we fix it? For that, we're going to turn to the executive director of Child Care Now, Morna Valentine. Uh, good to have you on this morning. Great to be here. Thanks, Lindsay. So you recognize it's never been very easy for parents to find a spot for their children in daycare. But the problem seems so much worse now. What do you think is driving the shortage? Well, I think one of the things that's driving the shortage of licensed spaces is that child care has been in the news a lot. The federal government uh, embarked on a really ambitious project in 2021 um, to create 250,000 new spaces and also to bring parent fees down uh, significantly by half by the end of 22-23 and moving towards an average of $10 a day. And so a lot of parents, families who... Um, you know, childcare was just unaffordable in the past. They now see that maybe they could afford it, so they're out there looking and adding their names to waiting lists. But, Morna, I remember when I was pregnant with my first child, Brooklyn, that was like 10 years ago, so count 11 years ago when I was pregnant with her. I had to put her on a wait list at that point while I was pregnant for a spot that didn't eventually open up for four or five years. Yes. Well, I did the same uh, yeah. 39 years ago. So right. it's been a, you know, a long, long time coming that we have more spaces. I mean, wait lists have always been a problem, yeah. uh, particularly get access to licensed child care. Um, and the problem is, is that, you know, governments for, for decades now have essentially relied on individuals, uh, what, you know, organizations, whether they be for profit or not for profit, to set up child care centers or for women, and it's almost always women, uh, to open up their homes, to set up home childcare. And that kind of approach to creating and uh, you know, responding to an urgent and, and universal need is just one that you know, fails inev inevitably. We need governments to take a much more proactive approach and to take responsibility uh, for the crisis. This is not you know, it shouldn't be left to individuals to scramble all the time uh, to find childcare. And Warner, what about salaries, though? I mean, if we look at the national average, early childhood educators and assistants make between 18 and $21 an hour, or that works out to $38,800 a year. How are these low wages impacting the issue? Well, in two ways. One, um, it's really difficult to retain staff, especially qualified staff, because the wages are so low. And it's not just the, the wages, but there is very little additional compensation, for example, in the form of benefit plans or, or pensions. And so early childhood educators and assistants are leaving the sector in droves. And of course, with low wages, it's extremely difficult to attract and reattract uh, staff to the sector. Um, so this is a huge problem because even if governments, you know, move towards creating more spaces, invest the money in, you know, capital uh, investments so that there's more centers built, um, it's going to be very, very difficult to staff them. Existing centers, existing providers are having trouble keeping spaces open because they just can't find staff. Morna Valentine, we appreciate your insight this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.